All of my beliefs, all my philosophies, everything that I try to accomplish kind of starts with tap dance. It's what's been able to allow me to build bridges uh, for myself so that I can go from country to country and develop new friendships. Uh, it's given me a voice to express myself to the world, to let them know who I am and that I exist and, and what's on my mind. I started when I was two and a half years old, um, doing very simple tap, 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 tap. And I was told in my first performance, I got out on stage with the tuxedo and the afro and just cried. I couldn't do a step. Around eight years old, um, Diane Walker, who uh, had gone to dancing school with my mother and my aunt when they were children, um, she came back to our studio to train myself and two other young guys, and it was my introduction to rhythm tap dance. I call her the mother of my tap dance feet because she's the first one to open my mind and to show me um, how rhythm is life and how everything that I feel on a daily basis is musical. Um, and then eventually I got to meet Jimmy Slide, who, uh, when I was 10 years old, uh, he agreed to teach me private lessons. As I got older, he continued to believe in me and eventually he brought me to New, to New York City and put me on stage at some of the jams uh, that the Hoofers were at. And that was kind of my introduction to uh, improvisation. I just try to feel it, you know. I, it, I allow the music to kind of get inside me and I'm always hearing music whether everybody else is hearing it or not. So if there's a band, if there's a recording, if there's nothing, I still continue to hear the music in my head and I just try to speak. My steps are like words, they're like vocabulary. So it's my way to communicate with an audience or a listener uh, for how I feel, what's on my mind at that moment. Um, sometimes it's simply put and sometimes it's a bit manic and frustrated and angry, and it can change by day to day. What we do, you know, hitting that ground is percussive first, and JoJo is a master at what he does percussively. And um, just being around someone with that kind of control um, just gave me the, the, the opportunity to push myself. Um, and it was nice knowing that there's somebody there that knows what they're doing and they're pushing and I'm pushing and you just feel a charge. Um, we got to hang out in New York a bit when there was no audience and it was just guys shedding and that was magical. JoJo's energy in itself moved me to go places I hadn't thought about going. So it was, it was amazing. I'm working on a show now called Rhythm Is Our Business, and my plan is to continue to create shows. We have, for the first time in a long time in tap dance, a lot of great young dancers across the globe. I feel very desperate about creating a platform for them to exist, for them to be seen by the world, uh, so that the world can see how strong tap dance is right now, because it's still a bit of a secret. So this is my passion, to try and work with producers, to produce myself, to start to direct and get behind the scenes and, um, and just create opportunities for, for the young dancers.